In this video, we're going to establish a little boilerplate for our project. In fact, we're going to copy or clone an existing GitHub repository that only holds the docker compose.yaml and the individual docker files. Let's locate this repository. Uh, you'll find the link in the description. And let's clone it. I'm going to create a project folder. And inside this project folder, let's git clone our repository. Now it has downloaded. Let's see what's inside. Inside this, you can see there's a docker compose.yaml file and a docker files directory. CD into the docker files, and you can see individual docker files for everything. We're going to take a deeper dive into those files somewhat later on, but let's see what we can do. So if I call docker compose up, then it should create our individual docker containers. First, it's going to pull down some images, as you can see, npm, redis, mysql, mailhub, loads of copying here. So the idea basically is that we're going to have individual Docker containers to run npm, artisan commands, composer commands, npm commands. However, what we're most interested in is running the tests inside of those containers, which will be automated through Jenkins. If all is well, then these Docker images will make it possible to run this application and do the migrations and run the tests going to take a while. I might as well just uh, pause the video and come back once it's finished. It looks like that everything is pretty much working. As you can observe on the screen, we have a couple of containers running, or at least started. So we've got npm, mysql, mailhog, php, redis, composer, art, artisan, and nginx. There's one thing we do not have, we do not have a Laravel application. So this boilerplate was designed to create those containers, right? But there's no application that is actually running inside of those containers. This is what we're going to do in the next video. See you there.